All right, this is Mr. Block, and I'm going to be gone from class today, so I wanted to review uh, some of the things we went over last class period with binary ionic compounds, and then start to teach you about polyatomic ions. All right, so when we did binary compounds the other day, we're just doing simple ionic compounds where you have a, a group 1 or group 2 bonding with a group 17, 16, or 15, so you have a metal and a non-metal. When we do this, we just have to make sure that the balance, the charges balance. So, for example, sodium bromide, sodium makes a plus one ion. And bromide makes a minus one ion. So, we can uh, put those together and we make sodium bromide. Okay, so we take sodium and bromine and remember when we name them we just change the ending to IDE. So down here below when we had to name them we had potassium oxide, magnesium iodide, aluminum chloride, so on and so forth. Okay, so the biggest thing you had to do was make sure on these upper ones that you balance the charges. Okay, so that the, the net is neutral. All right. Today we're going to be learning about polyatomic ions, which polyatomic ions are ones that you have a group of atoms working together as an ion. Okay. So everything that we looked at yesterday had a ending of IDE on it. Okay. The way you'll be able to tell whether you have a polyatomic ion is if it has a, a different ending, like ATE8 or ITE. So like, here's some examples from your worksheet that you'll be doing today. Nitrate, carbonate, phosphate, acetate, sulfate, chlorate. Okay, anything that was binary ended IDE, sodium chloride. All right. Now there will be some that are Instead of eight, they'll end ite. And simply, these are ones that have one less oxygen atom in them. So you might have heard of phosphate before. Well, that's PO4. But if it's only got three oxygen atoms, it is uh, phosphite. Okay. So this is a group working together and that has a charge. So we can think of these as one thing. All right. Now, I'm not going to have you memorize these. All you have to do is be able to recognize them. So if you go to your periodic table that I gave you the other day, and you go to the back page, this back page has a list of polyatomic ions. So hydroxide, nitrate, sulfate, sulfite, phosphate, phosphite, acetate, carbonate, bicarbonate, cyanide, thiocyanide, dichromate, iodate, bromate, chlorate, hypochlorite, permanganate, and chromate. Okay, those are all negative ions, negative polyatomic ions. So poly means many atoms acting as an ion. There's only one that is a polyatomic ion that is positively charged, and that's ammonia, NH4+. All right, so when you're doing the worksheet today, and you you have you're given these for one thing you already know that that's what they are because that's what we're working on. But if I didn't know that, I can look at these and I can see sodium chromate. Okay, I know that the ending is ATE, so I'm going to have a um, a polyatomic ion. Now, just like with the binary, I need to balance the charges. So I know my sodium. Is, uh, is a plus one, so Let's see if I can get this to work. In. All right, my, it won't let me draw on the screen, but I have sodium that's a plus one, and then I can look at my sh screen my other sheet and look at chromate and I can know that chromate is ClO3 and it's a minus one. Okay, so I have 
sodium that's a plus one and I have a chromate that's a minus one so the formula is NaClO3 all right second one calcium carbonate all right I know it's a polyatomic because the ending is ATE I, I may not know what carbonate is but if I go back to my list I can find carbonate and it's right there CO3 and it's a minus two okay so my minus two and my calcium if you remember and we look at our periodic table it's in group two so it's a plus two and I have a minus two so the formula is CaCO3 all right now you may run into ones that they don't balance okay so I will have to if I do that let me see if I can find an example of that. So we'll, we'll look at the, some of the ones you have to name. Okay, like for example, magnesium phosphate. Magnesium phosphate. All right, Mg is a plus two. All right, if we look at it on the periodic table, it makes a plus two ion because it's a group two. All right, if I look at PO4, which is phosphate, phosphate is a minus 3. All right. So when I do this problem, or if I had to do it up here, if I'm naming it, I just have to say magnesium phosphate. But to balance the charges, magnesium is plus 2 times 3. That makes gives me a plus 6. Phosphate is a minus 3 times 2. That's a minus six, so plus six and minus six nets me zero, all right? So if I have to need more than one phosphate, I have to put parentheses around it and then put a two on the outside. So that's telling me I have two of this whole entire thing, all right? So this is what you'll be doing in class. Um, just remember, use your periodic table, use that list, use that as your tools, and you should be 